everyone and welcome back to my channel for today's video i'm going to be doing a wrap up of all of the manga that i read in the month of january um yeah this is going to be my first wrap up um on this channel so i hope you guys enjoy um thought i'd share i'd start sharing whatever i um am drinking just because i always have a little something on the side um so today i'm, I'm just having a a warm latte with a bit of cinnamon on top so that's just gonna be sitting in the background um, so yeah go ahead and grab yourself a cup of coffee or tea whatever you'd like and let's go ahead and get into these okay so the first few volumes here I'm gonna go through rather quickly just because I did already film a volume one binge um, so that video should be going up next week um, so I already you know kind of explain these more in depth um, but I figured I'd just show you anyways because I did read them in January um, but this is volume one of imaginary the art in this is really nice um, I like the art style the more slender eyes I think it's really really nice um, but yeah without going into too much detail I just I thought this one was okay um, so I was a bit disappointed because I was really looking forward to this one. Um, but yeah, maybe you might want to try it out. Um, this is published by Seven Seas, so it is, you know, $13.99, um, so not too, too bad, but, um, yeah, just not my favorite. I am willing to continue, but it was just alright in my opinion. Um, but the next one is Tsubaki Chill Lonely Planet, Volume 1, which I did enjoy. This one was pretty cute. I love the art style in this. I love how the uh, mangaka like, draws faces. I think they're really, really just cute while still keeping it simple. I don't love when, you know, art gets too messy. I like how this has some of that traditional shoujo um, art style while still being a little bit simplistic. Um, so yeah, this one is pretty cute. I'm excited to continue this one. I hope that the English releases kind of pick up in uh, pace um, just because I'm really excited to get into this one. So yeah, this one is um, pretty well received. So um, yeah, glad that I that I also enjoyed that one. Um, the next one is Love of Kill Volume 1. This was another one that was just alright, but I see the potential for this to be a great, great series. Um, I love the art in this one. Um, this one I went through rather quickly. There's, it's not very text heavy, so you can go through this. I went through this like in less than an hour, um, but I still enjoyed it. Um, like I said, I see the potential for this to be a great, great series, um, but as far as volume one, it wasn't, you know, anything amazing. Um, but the next one is Something is Wrong with Us, volume one. This one is already very, very dramatic. I heard that this series was pretty dramatic, um, so I knew that going into it, but I, you know, was still kind of shocked after I read this volume to see that it's, it is very dramatic, um, but I'm excited to get into this one. I, I can see that this one has, again, potential to be very, very good. Um, so this one is going to be higher priority for me to um, read the rest of the volumes that I have, and if I continue to like it, I will probably finish picking this up. I'll prioritize that. Um, but... Yes, this is the last volume one, or not the last volume one, but the last volume one that I'm going to kind of go over pretty quickly. Um, this is Perfect World volume one. I enjoyed this one as well. I did have a little bit of an issue just with the pacing of the romance, but I feel like that might be a, more of a personal thing for me. Um, but otherwise, I really enjoyed it. I really grew to appreciate this art style. Um, yeah, this one is another one I went through fairly quickly, um, but yeah, I'm excited to see how, what direction this one goes in. Um, yeah, this one is pretty good. Okay, and the next volume is Mint Chocolate Volume 6. Um, this one I received in an order at the beginning of the month, 
and I pretty much read this right away. I was so, so excited to get this in the mail. Um, I had been waiting on this release for a few months, at least. Um, this is just one of my favorite series, honestly. Um, I know a lot of people might have an issue with it just based on the premise of the main couple, but I don't know. Personally, it doesn't bother me. I think they resolve the main um, kind of controversial issue of them being step-siblings. Um, I think they resolve that and explain it pretty well. Um, so I personally really enjoy this series. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really excited to get into this series more. Um, I know that Volume 7 is available for pre-order and should be releasing sometime in... Um, the later days of February. So very excited to pick up volume seven whenever that comes out. Um, but yeah, that's volume six. And then I have volume two here. This is the only manhwa in this, um, that I read this month. Um, so this is why Reliana ended up at the Duke's Mansion, volume two. This one, again, you know, it's manhwa, so it's gonna be in full color. Um, this, I, I continue to love this series so much. I, um, I liked the first volume, but I decided that if I didn't like it after the second volume that I would unhaul the series, but I just fell in love with these characters even more in the second volume, so I am happy to continue. Um, these covers are just so gorgeous. The art is stunning, obviously. Um, yeah, I think they're really progressing the story pretty well. I like the pace of everything. It's so funny and yeah, these two are just the best. They're honestly the best together. So I'm really excited for this to continue. Next, I read this side story of Demon Slayer. So the stories of water and flame. I've had this in my collection for a while and I just never read it. So I figured I should go ahead and pick it up and read it. Um, and I'm glad I did. It's really, really interesting. I believe there are three um, shorter stories in this. Um, and I really enjoyed all of them. You know, they kind of, I believe one of the stories is kind of set before the events of Mugen Train. So before Rengoku goes out to complete the um, Mugen Train, um, you know, mission. And so, I don't know, it was really interesting to see kind of what happens what takes place before, um, yeah, it's just that standard, you know, the Demon Slayer style, um, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed this. I really do recommend it. I'm usually not much of a, um, side story reader, but, um, I really enjoyed that one. Um, and also going along with Demon Slayer is the Flower of Happiness, um, light novel. This is... Again, a compilation of short stories. I believe there's uh, four or five short stories in this, um, all surrounding, you know, a group of some of the characters. So some of these are pretty interesting. There was one in here that was just pretty much the entire story was Zenitsu whining. So that one was not my favorite. It just kind of was annoying after the first like few pages. Um, but otherwise, all the other stories were really nice. Um, in the beginning here, you get like a bit of a fold out poster, which is really nice. Um, you can see there. Um, and then in between the chapters, there's like a little picture to go along with whatever story is taking place. So this one was also fun. They kind of, um, brought in some elements from the original series. So one of the stories takes place like after they completed a certain mission um, in season one. So yeah, it's, it's really interesting how they've um, tied in some of the elements of the original Demon Slayer story. So I really enjoyed those two um, side stories from Demon Slayer. Okay. Next is Volumes 1 and 2 of Food Wars. Um, volume 1 was also part of the Volume 1 binge that I did, um, but I just pretty straight after read Volume 2. Um, I relatively enjoyed um, Volume 1. Um, I like seeing all the food. 
my main problem with it is that um, it's a bit it's a bit extra for me. The etchiness of this series is I don't know. After a while, it, it just became too much. The first and second time, it was kind of funny, and then after that, it was just a little too much for me. So um, I decided to give Volume Two a go just because I had it. Um, but yeah, as of now, well, m moving forward, I am going to be dropping this series, so this will be listed on my Mercari if anyone is interested. Um, but yeah, I, I just think this might be a bit repetitive over time, um, which is a shame because I was really wanting to add a food series to my collection, but I just don't think Food Wars is the right one for me. The last series in this is A School Frozen in Time. This is the complete series of this. Um, volume 1 in this series was a part of my Volume 1 binge. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and, you know, kind of explain my thoughts on this just because I read the entire series. Um, but this one is a psychological thriller. I don't think it's quite horror, but this one is was pretty interesting to begin with and I'm really bummed that it ended pretty poorly in my opinion. Um, just the explanation of things, um, you know, some of the mystery elements were not explained well in my opinion. I don't think that they gave a proper explanation um, and what they did explain just didn't really make any sense to me. Um, so that just, the ending really brought down the entire series for me, um, which is a shame because it started out so strongly. Um, but yeah, here's volume one, two, three, and four. Um, so this one is going up on my Mercari as well. Um, you know, I just really want to keep things in my collection that I love through and through and i was really hoping that this would be one of them that i would revisit you know here and there because it is a short series um but unfortunately it just it did not end well at all um but yeah that is everything that i read in the month of january um i feel like it was kind of a heavier manga reading month for me i usually don't read this much um but um, February is also looking to be pretty heavy um, manga reading wise. Um, so I hope you look forward to hearing those. Um, but yeah, that's it for this one. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.